Assets is a really neat feature in Affinity Designer and I'm going to make this an updated tutorial for my last one with a little bit more explanation and we're going to be talking about assets right after this. Okay, so if you don't have your assets panel down, um, you have to come up here to view, come down here to studio, and then go to assets at the very top. Since I already have mine down, I can just click on it right over here, and it will pop open. Okay, so assets is a panel, and it has default assets already loaded in here. Um, these are assets from iOS 11. So you can just pull these off here and use these for whatever you need. Um, but they're iOS 11 icons so it goes with the uh, it's the exact same icon that the Apple uses. And so you can also create your own icons or uh, assets. So what assets does is allows you to drag uh, whatever you add here or whatever is already um, default here to a document and then you can um, and it's like your own files inside this program um, sort of like stock or something like that and it helps you so you don't have to go over here to open or place and stuff like that and try to open it a new file and and all of it is vector basically I mean you can do uh, pixel too you but um, but all the default stuff is vector here so that's pretty nice um, but if you wanted wanted to make a, a, your own asset I'm gonna make this turn this into an asset here so let's say if I if I wanted to have this cog tool turned into an asset. Well, what I would do here is I'm going to come down here to tutorial. That's one I made. As you can tell, I've already put this in here once, but I want to make it another one with a bigger inside. So I'm going to go over here to this little menu right here, and I'm going to click Add from Selection. And this is the most basic thing you can do here. So now we have two cogs. One's bigger and one is smaller. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to create a category. Uh, it's super simple. Just come up to this one, not this one, but the top uh, of the assets panel. There's a little menu bar and you just hit create new category. And then it will automatically make it be named assets and then the subcategory will also be named assets and it will automatically make a subcategory you always have to have your assets in subcategories to rename your category you just come down here uh, up here to rename category and that's how you can rename it if you want to rename this one you just click here to rename it also so now we just have to create a uh, new one before we start adding from selection. So you just have to click create subcategory. And you can create as many of these as you want, which is nice. Um, and then some some uh, something else that's pretty cool is you can change um, you can export it or import other assets. So let's say your friend makes uh, has a bunch of assets and he exports them and he wants to share them with you so then you would just get that and click import assets go here and open a file or open his file that he sent you and it would automatically add them here and that's really nice uh, you can all, probably some people sell them online assets too so and then export assets is if you want to share it with your friend or sell it online um, embedded in current document so if I send this document to someone else and that doesn't have any of my assets it will embed these 
in his assets and uh, and so then he'll be able to get on all my assets as well at least that's what I was I've read I've never tested it out um, so let me know if that I was wrong about that but I was just reading some forums affinity designer forums and they, that's what they said it did so um, I think they're working on it to make it better um, but until then uh, we'll just have to work with what we have so um, and then show as list and it's checked right now if I turn it off it won't show as a list and I can show you what it'll look like so I'll just come up with a thumbnail of it and I'll go to my YouTube channel assets so it pops up with a thumbnail and I'll show you the difference here if it shows as a list here we go it's just one big list so you can change how it looks um, which is rather nice and it pops up with the name too. If you want to see the name of these, you just have to sort of hover over them. And also, there's a little search bar at the bottom. Um, I'm going to search up pin tool, and it automatically pops up with the pin tool, which I uh, had named. If if you haven't named these, you can always uh, go here to rename asset, and you can change the name here. So. So I hope this I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and it helped you out with whatever you're doing with assets. Um I think assets is a really neat uh capability, so um I hope you will subscribe to me if you aren't already and make sure you leave a comment below if you have any questions about Affinity Designer or if you want to recommend me to do a tutorial. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next tutorial.